Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. All these spring makeup collections are coming out and I'm super excited to be reviewing the Dior spring makeup collection today. As you guys can see, it is snowing outside right now and I am here reviewing spring makeup. It's all good, it makes me feel better, so why not? Dior recently came out with a campaign for their new spring makeup collection and I knew I had to get my hands on it. It just looked so beautiful and those pastels were calling out my name. Now they came out with two different palettes, lipsticks, glosses, um, two highlighters that are absolutely gorgeous and a beautiful blush. The collection itself is called Lully glow and it's definitely very glowy pink and beautiful. I did purchase the glow lipstick and it looks like candy. It's so cute. I mean look at that. It's so cute so pretty. I have it on my lips right now. It gives just the most beautiful, gorgeous pink lip color, but it also looks glowy at the same time. Now, first off, I want to talk about the packaging that everything came in. I did order this makeup collection online on Dior.com, and of course, it came so elaborately packaged. It came in a really nice box, and inside, when I opened it to my surprise, it came like tied in a ribbon, and because it's the Chinese New Year, they had this most beautiful beautiful red fan on the ribbon itself. It's so gorgeous. And when you open the box, they were just so beautifully packaged. Um, it came with a free bag um, for the Chinese New Year. And also the makeup itself was packaged very neatly and nicely. And even the complimentary gifts were packaged in a little tiny little bag, which was so cute. I just wanted to give you a close-up of everything that came in the package. First off, this beautiful little bag um, that you can put your makeup in that came free with the order. Then we have the complimentary gifts that came free with purchase. eyeshadow palette from the spring collection that comes with five beautiful pastel shades. includes a beautiful peach highlight that gives the most beautiful radiance and highlight to the skin. I am absolutely in love with the pink blush that is released in this collection. that were released for the spring collection come in many shades. I chose the raspberry in shade 207 that gives the perfect pink lip for the spring. Now the palette itself, it's very pastel-y, but you definitely need to use a wet brush to go ahead and dig in, especially into the lighter colors, or else it really doesn't come out as pigmented as we normally are used to with other palettes. And that's one thing with the higher end products. I don't feel like the pigmentation is there, um, but yeah, I definitely feel like they need to really work on that. Now the brown color in here did have quite a lot of pigment. I was quite surprised with it, but the other colors themselves, they definitely need to be used wet or else you barely could see them on your eyes. My favorite part of this collection would have to be the blush and also this beautiful peach highlight. It just gives such a beautiful radiance uh, to your cheeks, both of them together. They're just so beautiful and I absolutely love this blush. I think it's definitely one of my favorite blushes right now. But For this look today, I first started off by applying this brown shade into my crease and then I used a wet brush and 
and applied this pink shade all over but I felt like I just needed more of a kick so what I did is I did a cut crease and then reapplied this pink shade into my inner corner and this created kind of a really subtle nice gradient it was very pretty and on top of that I applied this other lighter kind of pink color just on top of the pink shade and this kind of elaborated it just a little bit more now for this beautiful pastel shade I really wanted to apply it underneath my eyes when you do that it kind of makes your eyes look brighter it makes you look more awake and it's very pretty itself but what I did is of course I needed to use a wet brush so I just used some fix it plus onto my brush and applied this underneath my eyes and it definitely gave me more of a radiance and more of a woken up type of look. Now this champagne shade in the palette is absolutely gorgeous. You can actually use it on its own. It doesn't really need to be used wet, but I did. And I applied it to my inner corners and just a little bit underneath my eye and it just gave that really pop of a glitter to the look itself. Now let's talk about this beautiful blush here. It's absolutely gorgeous, just a very pretty pink rosy cheeks. I actually don't mind the brushes that come with the Dior blushes. It's very soft and I just love to apply it because it's the perfect size to apply onto your cheeks. Now for this beautiful highlighter. Now the collection came with two different highlighters. One of them is more of a pinky color and the other one is more of a peach. I chose the peach one because I felt like it would go much better with my complexion and it's just gorgeous. It gives you that subtle kind of a highlight but it still has that peachy and champagne type of glitter to it. So it looks very very pretty on the cheeks. I loved this lip. It's so pretty and the packaging itself like what a great idea using lollies and lollipops I just feel like I just want to eat this. This whole collection comes with this rosy type of scent and that's usually the trademark to Dior makeup products they usually have that subtle rose scent which I quite like. Now if you guys wanted to get one or two things from this collection I would highly recommend you get the highlighter that's in this collection. It's so beautiful, subtle, yeah, very gorgeous. Something else that I would recommend is definitely the blush. It's very, very pretty. It gives you that kind of really subtle glow to your cheeks. Um, it's definitely the perfect blush. Other than that, the least favorite thing in this collection would have to be the actual eye palette itself. I'm just so used to such a high pigment in um, eyeshadows that this one really lacked in my opinion. Um, but even then, it's still very beautiful. I felt like it definitely gave me kind of a very subtly beautiful type of spring eyeshadow look. But if you guys want to pass on anything, it would have to be this eyeshadow palette. And that's it for my Dior Spring Makeup Collection review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope it gave you some insight on whether or not you want to purchase this collection or purchase a couple of things in the collection itself. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.